Hello class. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to start making our pet shop website. And uh, what I'll be doing, well the first thing we need to do is we need to have somewhere to keep our website. So I'm going to be keeping it in my documents here where we had the folder for our first website. So what I need to do now is make a new folder for our pet shop website. So I'm going to call it uh, pet shop and we'll say website too. Okay, so I've created that and all of the, our entire website will go into that folder. Right, now the next thing will be, we're going to need our home page and in this first website we had a template. So I'm going to copy that template. Control C to copy and uh, in here and we'll paste in there. Okay. Now I'm going to rename this, so F2 to rename, and we'll call it uh, Home. That's all we need to do. Um, now we'll right click on this and we'll open it with Notepad++. Which I'm just getting on the screen, there we go. Okay, so there's our template. Right, now... Um, We'll change the title to... Now look, we need to come up with a name for this pet shop that we're going to be creating. I want you guys to all come up with your own names and, and hopefully you can do a better job than what I'm going to do. Uh, but I'm just going to call it Sam's Pet Shop. And uh, that's all we need to do up there. Okay, so here's our body tag. and Hopefully you guys know all about the tags. A head tag up there, our title, our body, our HTML. Um, I haven't done any indentation here. I have indented the title, but I haven't in indented these. I will be starting to indent this very shortly. Very, very shortly. Okay, I want to take you back to our original Word document. And here is our home. Um, here's what we need to have on our home page here. Um, all of these sections and you'll also see down here remember that I said put each section into div tags a div tag is a sort of uh, a section it uh, it separates all your website out into sections so all of these will be within div tags so I'll just show you how it works so I'm going to indent now and we're going to make a div tag as simple as that and I'm going to finish it off with a end div tag and that's that's our first um, that's our first section okay so that's where our banner will be whoops right here that's where our banner we're going to need a div tag or a section for each of these so what have we got one two three four five six seven eight we're going to need eight of those. So I'll simply copy that and paste there and paste there and paste there. There's four of them. If I copy all of that, control C, go down here, we've now got eight of them. Okay, so that's all we need to do for that. Yeah, I think what will happen now is I'm going to save that. So I'm just going to save that, go back here. You'll see it says use Microsoft Paint to create a banner for the top of each page. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Um, so we'll just open up Paint. And here we go. Now, let's get it over here. Okay, right now, if you have a look down the bottom here, um, this white area, because we're in Paint, this is called the Canvas. And this is the size of the canvas at 789 by 333 pixels. So I'm going to change the size. Um, and I want the banner to be about um, that wide at the top. No, no, that high, I mean. And watching down the bottom here, it's uh, at the moment it's 100 pixels high and it's 1188 wide. I'm going to take it out to 12, 
100 wide and I'm going to go a little bit higher and we'll go 150 high. Okay so I think the best way of getting this canvas to um, to be the right size is to go file properties we're going to set it as 1200 the width and the height is going to be 150 it's going to be pixels the units of pixels the colors we don't want black and white white we want we do want some color so we'll just go okay at that and that looks a good size so we'll start off with a background color um, I'm just going to choose that and the paint bucket make that the background and then it's going to be a very simple banner you guys hopefully do better than what I'm going to do um, I'm just going to put some text on which is going to be here uh, I'm setting my size at 48 Sam's pet shop and now we're just going to have to get it in the center so I've got a handle here and I've got a handle here and if I line those two up we should have our text in the center of the banner put it vertically center that looks good okay click away that's all set okay so now we need to save the uh, picture so we'll go file and then we go save as um, I'm going to keep it in my documents in the same website everything needs to be in the same website now in here we don't have uh, a folder to keep all our images so I'm going to create a new folder call it images um, open up that folder inside I'm going to call the picture a banner it's a PNG file type so you need to remember that um, we'll just go save and then okay so now in here what we need to do is we need to um, get that picture that banner showing on our page so we need an image tag um, and uh, the source equals um, open quotes and the name is banner Dot. it was a PNG file close the quotes close the tag and then control s to save now I'm going to inspect that um, that picture the, um, the web page to make sure that it's actually working so um, here we go it's in our documents here we are here's our home uh, web page we open that and oh we do have a problem so that's interesting um, right so we need to have a look it says oh of course I see I never said that it was in the images folder save that go back here refresh it where's the refresh there we are refresh and there we go there's our there's our first um, part of the, of the home page okay so we'll just minimize that we'll go back to uh, notepad plus plus actually I'll go to word and show you what the next thing is uh, the next thing is we need links for all of these pages now we haven't yet created these pages but we can still put the links in so um, what we need to do here is uh, is um, yep we just indent and then the link is an anchor tag and the hypertext reference equals uh, and we put the double quotes there now we haven't yet made these pages but the first one is going to be called dogs.html so I'll have to create that later and then we'll just put dogs um, I'm going to put for sale because we want that's what we want the people to read 
actually, I'm not sure if that's correct, but we'll leave it like that for the moment, and then we'll finish our anchor tag, and that's our dogs page, I'm going to copy that, and paste it, and paste it, and paste it, there's our four pages, this one's going to be the cats page, this one's going to be the fish, and this one here will be for birds, and then we need to change these words here, um, cats for sale, fish for sale, birds for sale. Okay, so that should work. Now these links can actually all be copied into our footer. Control copy, which is going to be our last div. Just indent that one so that the reading is easier. Um, oh, I've made a mistake. Yes, that's not actually gone inside the div pad. That needs to go up here. Okay, mate, there's the div start. There's the div finish. I'm going to put a space between those to make it a bit easier to read. Space there, space there, space there, and space there. Hopefully that's easier to read. Right. Okay. What we can, okay. So, we'll go back here now. And the next one is a page heading. So, that's this section here. So, we'll indent. We'll make it an H1 tag. And uh, we'll call it um, Sam's, we'll just call it Sam's Pet Shop. Now we are repeating what we've got on the top there, which is not very good. We might be able to come up with something better than that later on, but we'll just leave it like that for the moment. Okay, so at that stage, we've done those top three sections. And that's the same as the top three sections in the pet pages, as well as the page, the footer. So basically what we've got here now is we've got a link, uh, a template for both sorts of pages. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to go back to the page here and I'm going to copy and paste it. And then I'm going to rename this one as template. And we'll be able to use that later for the um, pet pages. Right, so now let's have a look at our Word document and see what we need to do now. So the next four sections are all pretty much the same. Um, but these are going to be links to each section. And we really need to have a picture, um, make each of these sections look good. So I'm going to, we've got an H1 tag up here. We'll put an H2 tag in here. And we'll go dogs for sale. We'll finish that H2 tag. And then we need some sort of description in here. We're just going to say something like, you know, we have the, the best dogs for sale, they make lovely pets, or something like that. So I think what we'll do is we'll put that into a paragraph, and I'm just going to write something in here that we can improve upon this later. Um, so I'll just say what I said before. We have the most adorable dogs for sale. Um, yeah, make wonderful pets. And we'll finish that paragraph tag there. Okay, um, I've actually dropped it down the line because we might, it might be a bit, a bit um, more, more than what is going to fit on one line there. So I've got that. Um, remember, this is only the home page, so these, um, we're not going to be copying this and repeating it several times. 
So now, what we also need is we need to have a picture in here. Okay, so it'll be an image tag. Um, and uh, I don't know what picture we're going to use, but we'll make the picture, it will be found inside the images folder. And we'll call it, um, we need to call it something like uh, homepage dogs so that we know that it, that picture is going to be used on on the uh, home page okay so I'm going to make it a PNG that might change later but that's fine right so I'm going to leave it at that um, I think that I'm just thinking it might be better if we move that above the paragraph. I'm not sure about that. And for the moment, I might just leave that until we get this sorted out and um, looking good on the page. But later on, we will copy that and we will put that into there, changing it to cats, putting it into there, changing it to... Um, fish and where are we now into there yeah that one will be for the cats that one will be for the fish and that one will be for the birds so what we might do here is just um, put a comment in here um, fish no what is it the cats on this one cats so that's just a html comment i'm going to repeat that for this and for this down here obviously changing these words birds fish and we need one for the dogs Okay, so um, that's looking good. So I think we'll just have a look at that page and see what it looks like. Um, so a, 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 a way we can do that is we can go view, um, view current file, in, and I'm going to go IE. And there we go. Um, that's it. Um, oops, there's something wrong here. We haven't got any in the dogs. We, there's some stuff there missing. So I'm just going to have to go back and see what's going on here. Um, this is showing on the page. This is showing. This is not showing. Oh, I can see the problem. I have used three of those dashes. And I copied it down here. So I'm going to get rid of those. That's a mistake. We'll save that again. Alt-Tab. And up here f5 and there we go there's our dogs for sale our picture is not showing that's because we don't have a picture i'm going to get on the internet now i'm going to find a picture um, and put it into that uh, folder and then hopefully that will show okay so here's a good picture so we'll use that I clicked on it nothing seems to be happening here we go um, so we'll copy that picture, we will paste it into our um, images folder, paste it in there, we need to rename it, so what was it called, home page dogs, and we need to make sure it's a PNG or at least find out what sort of um, folder it is, so I'm clicking on there, it's a JPG file, so that's okay, what we need to do is change this here to JPG, Oops. save that, control S, alt tab until we get our page that we want to see, F5 to refresh, there we go, it's a huge picture, 
we might have to resize that. But I won't worry about it at the moment. We'll leave that. Um, we'll just leave that for a moment. That's all going to. That can be resized. That can be fixed up later. Okay. So I think I'll leave it like that. In fact, what we're going to do is I'm going to do the same for those other three animals, the pet types. Um, I'm going to copy that now, place it into this section, and this section, and this section, and then I'm going to go through and change these cats. Okay, I'm just uh, just finishing making all the changes here. So there we go. So now we've got dogs for sale, cats for sale. Going to the homepage cats.jpg. We haven't yet got that picture. Fish homepage fish.jpg. These file types might have to change. Um, birds birds for sale homepage birds. Birds for sale. Right, so that's all looking good. So what I'm going to do is save that. I'm now going to go onto the internet. I'm going to get three pictures, um, which I will save, and then we'll have a look at the what how the what the home page looks like. Okay, so there we go. I've got some pictures off the internet. I've renamed them all. We've got home page fish, home page cats, home page birds. We need to find out now what sort of um, file types they are so uh, they're all jpg files so that makes it easy so actually that's good because all the links are to jpg already so i don't need to make any changes there just see if it's saved everything's saved so all we need to do now is go back here and refresh this page and hopefully we should see some pictures here there we go they're large pictures but we can fix all of that later. Um, cats for sale, fish for sale, birds for sale. That's fine. That's good. That's our home page done. So we've got all the HTML elements on there. Um, we've got the structure there. We're going to make this start to look good, but not in this video. So we'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to be creating the, the uh, individual pets. Uh, pages.